Asana has launched a lot of AI features and you can expect them to continue to come out with more AI features. So what we wanted to do was put together a list of the AI features that are currently available, make sure that you are utilizing them all and to their fullest extent, and explain to you how we are keeping track of this. Probably as no surprise to you, as we are Asana consultants, we have created a project to keep track of these AI features, what's currently available and what's hopefully becoming available soon. There's an awesome graphic to show us these AI features and how they fit into the Pyramid of Clarity. So the various features that are available are going to be in green, then of course yellow are on the roadmap, and blue is what hopefully will be coming eventually. So as you can see, Asana is really prioritizing AI and it's something that you can continue to see new features being released through the coming year. When we look at the bottom of the graph, we've got the smart summaries and smart editor. We have some AI attached to specifically those projects, which maybe some of you have been playing with, like the smart statuses or potentially smart fields. We also can do smart statuses at that portfolio level, but you can also use AI at goals as well as something applicable to your entire Asana instance is this AI chat. So let's take a look at these. So I'm just gonna go down the list, make sure that you guys know these features are available and quickly show you how to access them. So the first one on here is available at our task level, smart task summaries and drafting subtasks. So I'm gonna showcase this to you in a different project. What you can do here is if you have a really long task with perhaps a big description box, subtasks, and a long history log of comments that maybe you've missed because you've been out of town, you can actually ask AI to summarize this for you. In the comment box, you'll see this AI assist options, and I have this option here to summarize that task. It'll take a few seconds, gonna read all of the data in that task, and then it's going to give me a couple sentences summary of what this task is about, including what was discussed in those comments, if the due dates changed and what was difficult. You also have AI available to draft subtasks for you. So let's say, for example, you are using Asana to track your meeting minutes, and you actually posted those notes in an Asana description box. What you can do is from the description box, you see you have that AI assist options as well. Not only do we have summarized task, but now we have this draft subtasks. So it works in the same way. It's going to read all of those details and then it's actually going to recommend a couple of subtasks based on those meeting minutes. I can then remove the ones that I don't think are applicable and once I'm ready I can just hit add subtasks and it added those tasks for me. You also have the smart editor, which is available in your task as well to actually change the tone of your text. When we click on our AI assist options again, we have recommend edits. And what that's going to do, it's going to again, read the content in the task. And specifically, we're talking about a description box right here because that's what I clicked on. And it's going to help me change the way that I've phrased this. So if I need to change my tone to be more friendly, to be more polite, or if I wanna shorten or lengthen it, I can do all of this with my smart editor. Next, you have project smart summaries. So these are available at your project level. If you go to any of your projects and you go to the overview tab of your project, you will see this smart project summary off to the right. What this is going to do is every week, it's going to give you a couple of sentences about what has changed in that project. So it's gonna read all of that data, tasks added, tasks marked complete, due dates changed, comments posted, issues that might've been added. It's gonna read all of that data and spit out a quick little paragraph about what's changed. Smart statuses is also super helpful if you guys use the status feature for your projects. Instead of having to write that status all by yourself and type in everything, similar to those smart summaries, you can draft the status update with AI by selecting a particular status, giving it a date range to read your project. So I can either manually create this or it will automatically choose a date range from the last update. And then just like with ChatGPT, you can actually give it guidance. Do you have particular sections you want it to create? Do you have a particular tone? Do you have particular tasks you want it to focus on? You can really get specific with this guidance, ask AI to draft that update and it will create it, write it for you. You can then edit, modify it, bring in those highlights that you like to and go from there. This draft with AI status update not only is available at your projects, but also at your portfolios. So in the same way, if you were to set a status for your portfolio, you see that same option here. Again, one more layer, you also have it available at your goals. So every single goal has an area for updating its status as well. So in the same vein, we can also draft that update with AI instead of having to draft it and type it completely ourselves. 
Next on the list, we have smart projects. So this is going to allow you to actually create a project with AI. So if you are needing help to get started, if we were to create a blank project, and let's say we wanted to do a marketing campaign, you will see right underneath that you have this new option that says set up project with Asana AI. When I hit set up, it's actually going to recommend some sections as well as custom fields based on what this project is about. Once it has created that for you, it actually gave you a summary of what this project is about. If you were to alter this, so if you saw something in here that wasn't exactly what you were looking for, maybe I need to add a budgeting component. I can just alter the way that I am asking Asana AI to create this project for me. And you'll see right here at the bottom, I have either discard or retry. So when I hit that button, now it's going to take into account the way that I've altered that description and it's going to rework the sections as well as the custom fields wherever needed. If I'm happy with it, I can create the project. Next we have smart fields. So if you are using custom fields or perhaps you're not using custom fields, maybe you need some direction from AI to help think about some other custom fields that might be available. There are two things we can do with Asana AI and custom fields. We can ask the AI to actually recommend new fields with this recommend fields. When I click on that, it's going to read the project, what fields are already there, do I have a project description, and from there it's going to recommend additional fields that I can choose to directly add or not. For example, this client type, and then it's telling me what those options are. So I can choose to add them or not. The other thing that Asana AI will do is it will actually fill in a field for you. So you can see I have this first field completely blank. I can ask AI to autofill this field for me. This autofill will be the most accurate when you actually provide a description of this field because then it's giving that AI direction on how to fill the field properly. Next on our list, we have smart rules. So if you've ever struggled with setting up a rule in an Asana project, you can also do that with AI. When we go to add a new rule, maybe scrolling through this list can be a little cumbersome or confusing. And when we click on that create custom rule, you'll see this button here to create the rule with AI. What that will do is now off to the right hand, I can simply just type in regular speech what I want this rule to do for me. And once I've typed that in and click create, it's going to populate all of those fields for me. When we go back to goals, there are a couple other things that are available with Asana AI, and it's actually going to give us suggestions about how to make this goal a little bit better. So if we scroll down to the bottom, I can actually see that Asana AI has some tips for me. I can click view those tips, and then I'm going to read what it is re recommending that I do to make this goal a little bit more customized, personal, or just better fit my needs for the company. So for example, it is suggesting that I add a summary of the impact of this goal. So it read all of the contents of this goal, including the sub goals, and it's saying, hey, you're missing a summary of the impact. I recommend that you add this. So I can now take that step or not. Lastly, we have smart answers, and this is going to be globally across your Asana space, and it's available with our Asana AI icon here at the top right. This is going to open up a chat box where I can ask any question that I want about a particular task, about a particular project, or I can even see the recommended questions that it has here. Something to note quickly is that these features are not available on all plans. Most of them are available on all of the new plans, which are named Starter, Advanced, Enterprise, and Enterprise Plus. Most of the legacy plans actually do not have access to many of these AI features, so you may need to have your plan migrated to these new plans. For example, if you're on premium, we need to migrate to starter. If you're on business, you need to migrate to advanced. So you can note here, I have these listed here, that some of these are available at the premium legacy plan or the starter new plan, but then some of them are available specifically at the advanced level. So if you are on business, you do not have access to this. A couple of features that might be upcoming are smart charts smart onboarding and importing any file. It's going to read the contents of that file and recommend tasks and create them automatically for you. So as you can see, there are a lot of Asana AI features available now. There's more Asana features available soon, and there are even more Asana AI features that will be coming in the future that we don't even know about yet. Here at iDo, we really pride ourselves on keeping our clients informed about what's going on, giving them insights into what might be coming down the pipeline, and making sure that our clients are utilizing the newest features as soon as possible and really tweaking those workflows as these new things become available to make sure that you're working as efficiently as possible. So if you have questions about purchasing Asana licenses or understanding more about how to use Asana better, whether you are already using Asana or onboarding it for the first time, we would love to help you.